quick with you tonight that uh, it's something I was thinking about yesterday about the, one of the first missionaries, the Apostle Paul. And he was going and he was trying to tell everybody about Jesus. And he was just walking around and he was like, hey, let me tell you about Jesus. And his whole thing was he called it this ministry of reconciliation, this big fancy word. And what it simply means is two things that were once far apart and bringing them together. You see, the truth is, and the Bible tells us this, is that a long time ago, that our, our great, great, great to the four millionth time, whatever, granddaddy and grandmother, Adam and Eve, they sinned. And in that moment, before that, things were like this. They had this relationship with God and they talked with God and they walked with God the way that God intended. But sin separated that relationship and sin sent something into us that all of us have. That all of us have. And I know I like to think of little children as, as uh, perfect little angels. I've got a, I got a beautiful little four-year-old daughter. And she's the most amazing, wonderful thing that's ever happened to me, you know. But the truth is, man, if you stick two two-year-old kids in a sandbox in about 15 minutes, one of them is going to smack the head off of the other one, you know. <laughs> and, and that is because this thing has been passed down to us. There's something inside of us. Even as children, before we even know how to talk, we... We have this thing inside of us that says, mine, that's mine, give, give to me. No, you're not the boss of me. No, don't tell me what to do. You know, give me what belongs to me. And what belongs to me is everything. <laughs> and then we have it inside of us from the time that we're born. And Paul was going to the world and he was saying, you know what? That thing that we have inside of us, it separated us a long time ago from God. But God wants you to know that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for us so that all of our sins could be forgiven. That he could be the cure for our cancer, uh, this the spiritual cancer inside of us that would separate us from God. That because of what Jesus Christ has done for us, that humankind, that every man, every woman could go from this state here and be reconciled and be brought back to God. And tonight, I don't know where you are. Maybe everybody here is like this. And if we are, then I want to remind you that that's why we're here. To share that ministry with the rest of the world. Let your art share that ministry with them. Let your voice share that ministry with them. Let, you know, working in a school share that ministry with them. But whatever you do, no matter how insignificant, you may think working at Taco Bell is an insignificant job. I'm telling you right now, God has you there for a reason. And he is using you to take other people that are like this to share the ministry of reconciliation with them. Because I'm telling you, man, God cares every, about everybody and everywhere in every country, every nation, every skin color, and every type of person, every whatever kind of music they listen to, whatever kind of bank account that they have. God cares about us, and he loves us. And I'm telling you, if you know him, it's our job to share him. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. And it's our job, just like the Apostle Paul, tell people about this amazing Jesus. And tonight, if you don't know Jesus, and if you feel like you're far away and you want to come to him tonight, I can't think of a better place. Don't feel any pressure, and don't feel like you're going to be weird, because I was in this position once too, where somebody said, do you want to accept Jesus Christ in your life? And I said, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm far away, and I want to come back to God. I want to be with God. I want you to know that you, you're thinking right now, oh, man, I'm going to have to stop drinking. I'm going to have to stop, you know, having sex in this relationship. I'm going to have to stop doing this. I'm going to have to stop doing drugs. I'm going to have to really clean up my life, you know. Nobody thinks like that when they go to the hospital. Nobody thinks, man, I'm just going to have to get rid of this flu before I go see the doctor. I'm going to have to see if I can just get this cancer out of me before I see it. Nobody thinks like that. But with God, we think like that. Don't think like that tonight. In whatever situation you're in, whatever condition you're in tonight, if you're like this, the Bible says, accept and believe. And He'll give you the right to become the children of God. If that's you, you're here tonight, you say, I'm far away, and I want to give my life to Jesus Christ tonight. If that's you, I want you to just lift up your hand right where you're at, right now. If that's you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Anybody else? Anybody else? Say, Anybody else? Say, tonight's my night. I want to give my life to Christ. Anybody else? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I want to share something really quick with, really quickly with the three of you guys. I just experienced this with my daughter when she was born. She knew how to talk. She knew how to walk. She knew how to
want to do anything. She fell down a lot, but I was there with her and helped her. Keep going. As a Christian right now, you're getting ready to become a son, daughter of God. You're going to fall down a lot. You're going to get discouraged about it, but he's going to be right there. Nothing is ever going to keep you from being his daughter. You'll always be his daughter. You just stay forward. You hear me? You just stay forward. No matter how many times you fall, you are his daughter. He's going to teach you how to walk. He's going to teach you how to talk. You're going to be his son. He's going to teach you. He's, you're going to start to sound like him. You're going to pick up his accent, start wanting the things that he wants and doing the things that you're going to do. It's all about having a relationship with him, all right? So don't get discouraged about what you're doing. You stay close to him. Listen, I, my daughter, she just imitates what I'm doing. She just sees me doing something, and she just does it. That's what I want you to do, all right? Hang out with him. You'll figure it out. Let's pray together, all right? Everybody, pray this prayer with these three guys, these three uh, people in the room tonight. Everybody, out loud, pray with me tonight. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I thank you thank for your son, Jesus Christ. Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, you've given him Lord, you've given as a gift to me gift that to I can take Lord, and I can receive so that what has been far away can be brought together. Lord, right now, I believe that you're making me your child forever and ever. And I take it and I receive it. Teach me how to love you and how to love others and how to live for you. In Jesus' name. Can somebody and everybody shout, Amen.